We missed it. Later than what I think most people should do when doing this kind of yeah. uh, day, sightseeing day. I yeah. would recommend starting much earlier than this. It's about like 11 a.m. right now. Yeah. So definitely starting maybe three hours earlier. Get here at like 8 to avoid all the crowds. Yes. But so. actually it's not too bad right now. But we'll see what happens yeah. when we get there. It's kind of busy already. It smells good. Bakery. Oh. We didn't have breakfast yet, so. Seafood snacks here. Yuba yam flour skewers. Cool. For a little breakfast, I think we're gonna get some taiyaki. All right, got the red bean taiyaki. Woo! And, yeah. wow. First gate. And then there's a lot of steps up. I think it's almost like a 5k total distance or 4k. Might need a walking stick. I wonder if people just quit halfway up to like a middle landing part and then just stop. Which is pretty cool. And we've hit the clearing. And the gates continue up there. A little Shinto, Shinto shrine, uh, shrine right here. So Nara is known for more deer, but this area is more like, I guess, foxes. Foxes are messengers for Inari, the Shinto god of rice, fertility, prosperity, and success. Alright, we just hit the fork. <laughs> I think that game Star Fox. Uh, if you, any of you are old enough to remember a Super Nintendo, awesome Super Nintendo game. When you're flying, it's almost like this perspective. It's nice and cool in here, actually. You got a little up the nose view. Up the nose view. Let's see our nose hairs, or let's see if we have any boogers. But this is cool because you can see that the gates, there's a lot of gaps, so yeah, you're kind of protected from the sun, but. When it rains, you're still screwed. <laughs> oh. The Fushimi Inari dates back to the year 711. Some of the gates of Fushimi Inari go back over 1300 years. So that's part of the path that we crossed to get up here. At a landing, so you can see. Pretty cool. So we build up some replica gates here. So we got out of the Kiyomizu stop and we decided to go the cheaper route of um, 
20 taking, minute walk. I'm taking the train just four stops and walking for about 21 minutes uh, uphill. The incline is not too bad, actually, and it's a lot of things to see. And shops for well, fans, lots of motorcycles. Drewy Stores has really cute earrings in this place. Um, yeah. We have just went upstairs. We're still at the beginning part of it, actually. It's a beautiful day. So we're gonna make our way up. View from down below, the ground level. You can see the people there, though. They can video and then they can pictures up there. Yay! We finally made it. Yay! Here it is. I'm so glad. Look at the and there's so many here we go. Look at this. Yes. <laughs> Look at Eric's face. Oh my god. Hey, I like to do a face up somebody. I do. What's up with that? I like it because I like your face. You definitely smell uh, wood and incense here. It's full of wood, incense, and laughter and tourists. Many, many, many tourists. Many, 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 many. Including us, of course. Yeah. We can't really talk I know, right? Now. Right. Unfortunately, um, this is under construction, so we're missing a big part of it. It's all covered, but it's still pretty nice. Yeah. Maybe they're uh, hoping to get the highest scores on their exams. <laughs> they want to be like that uh, character from My Sunny Koku. Always failing. Uh, I'm just showing my age here. <laughs> Walking around looking for a shrine with Buddha. Okay, so this is a Starbucks. See? There's the entrance. Even with the, the sliding door. Oh my god, so cool. And it's a tribute to an unknown soldier in World War II. You come in, you get incense. And you light your incense, put it here. Hanami Kojidori Street. Except for the cars, everything is old style. Oh, businesses, restaurants, and so on. Yeah, it's also called Ge uh, Geisha Street because supposedly you might spot a, a real geisha. The women here wearing the kimonos are not geisha or maiko. Uh, most of them, like 99%. Pretty cool. Oh, people's faces. Okay. Yeah, so. The street and to the sides. Oh, this is so cool. Next, we're headed to Gion Tatsumi Bridge, a famous filming location. I think Memoirs of a Geisha was filmed there. So here's the bridge. It's actually much shorter than, <laughs> than I thought it would be. It's just from there to here and uh, kind of around there. And these are restaurants. Uh, back of the restaurants are cool because you can be seated and have the, the river. Uh, have a river view, which is really nice. He's looking for food places. It's getting dark, so. <laughs> and I think he's hungry. Yes. So, time to. Tabemas. 
first yes. open on the yes. Okay. This is at Dion Tanto. Put it there. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's spicy sauce. You have to put it all over the right? So they cook it in the back over there, and this is a plate that keeps it warm. So as you eat it, it's still gonna remain hot. I want to like egg like this, so I'm gonna make it cook. <laughs> and cook it in there. Hopefully, it gets a little cooked on this. Good, well needed after a long day of walking. 